Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on the one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to symbolize them um, JS data using graphs, right? Good in ArcGIS. So that outline is actually very large. Let's make it one by default. So we have um, some data here. Yeah. Let's um, open the attribute table. Now this attribute table um, shows um, the states in Nigeria and then it also shows some um, public infrastructure, right? Good. So we have some maybe schools, some hospitals and then maybe roads, right? So what um, we want to do is that we want to visualize this data yeah. In um, ArcGIS using graphs, right? Good. So symbolize the data in ArcGIS using graphs, right? Good. So the first thing is that let's um, open up to the properties. Then we come down to symbology and then we go to charts, right? Good. Now the three fields that we need that contains the um, infrastructure are these fields, right? Good. So, you know, yours can be for Maybe geological data, yours can be for natural phenomena, you know, different, um, different information that um, you would want to show on what your charts or your graph is in an ArcGIS, right? Good. So we have imputed the three fields that we want to visualize on our, what, on our graph or on our charts today. Um, we selected them from, okay, let's go back. These are the fields we have on our attributes table, right? Good. So we selected each of them and then, sorry. And then we use this um, arrow to add them, right? Good. So when they are here now, we can actually visualize them. You can also change what the symbology, right? Good. So you can double click on the color. I would prefer we use the um, RGB, right? Good. So we have red for the first one. The second one, let's say we want to use green. Let's say this shade of green is okay. Then we click on okay. Then the last one we can use view, right? Good. So yours might be more than one. Sorry, yours might be more than three. So you can actually use the color scheme that is provided by default. But I just want to have um, three distinct colors for what for the three um, infrastructure that we have on this tutorial so we click on apply now when we click on apply we can see what the pie chart has been what has been represented in the different states right good because these um, infrastructures are cut across the different states as they are what as they appear so um we can also decide to remove the background on which the graph or let's say the pie chart is being displayed so we can come down to new colors to ensure that, um, okay, let's apply that in. So we can see that that um, background color that was here has been removed, right? Good. So let's see our interactivity. The next thing is that prevent um, chart overlap. This is actually very important because if you don't check it, you will see that at some point your charts will be overlapping, right? Good. Because of maybe their sizes or whatever the case is. So when you check this and um, prevent um, chart overlap, it enables the charts to be placed, the topology not to overlap each other, right? Good. Now, there are other things we can do. Let's um, come down to properties. Good. Now, this is the pie chart that has um, shown the three what? The three infrastructure. Yours might be more than three, as we've always been saying. You can decide to display it in 3D. You know, the tilt, maybe if you want it to be completely flat you can keep it this way or if you want it to be tilted at an angle you can keep it this way you can also work on the thickness if you want it to be very thin maybe if you want it to be a bit thicker you can keep it this way let's click on ok and apply to see how it comes up right good so these are some other stuff that um, you can do with what the um the pie chart let's still come down to size the fixed size sometimes does not do it. You can vary the size using the sum of the field values, right? Good, so that you can have a better proportion, right? Good. So let's click on OK and then apply. So it gives you 
the size based on the proportion of the sum of each of them, right? Good. So, you know, not all of them will be the same sizes, right? Good. That's actually very important. So, if you want to have um, the graphs based on the representation, you can actually use what the very size using the sum of what the field value. You can also vary the size using fields. Maybe you have on your what on your attributes table, right? Good. So. These are some stuff you can do. And um, we can also look at, we have been looking at the pie chart. We can also look at what the bar and the column, or let's see the bar slash column. So let's still put in these, our three fields. So remember, we were using them um, RGB, but uh, let's go with, okay. We can still change this to RGB. Good. Okay, we have a background. Let's take out the background. Good. So we have what the bar slash column that we have used to represent what our data, right? Good. So you can see the blue, the green, and the red representing the different infrastructure. So remember, um, yours might be more than three, as we have always been saying. I think the size is still what. It's still very okay right good so yours might be more than three you know to represent what your your information you can also shape what they start so let's still see how that goes we still add it okay let's leave it as default as it is so you can also see how what they start also appears but um, our emphasis where um, let's say our emphasis was on what the pie chart and then by extension the what the the bar slash column right good so if we click on apply we see something like this which represents what our data and then we have not always been showing you the the legend this is like a key you know the description here is uh, schools hospitals roads or maybe some other phenomena that um, you would have what you would have want to um, symbolize using what the different charts that um, you have on what on IGF. You know, um, ArcGIS Pro actually gave us a more robust um, symbology based on chart, right? You know, let's say a more robust chart symbology. We are also going to explore that um, particular software on how to carry out symbology maybe subsequently. So thanks for coming to class and we hope we have shown you how to use um, We have shown you how to use um, ArcGIS to um, symbolize your data using different graphs or using different charts that um, are on the software right good and then we have also shown you how to modify or let's say make them um, so fine-tuning to the results so we are going to see you on the next tutorial and sure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye